In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create these Twitter image carousels that you can post to platforms like LinkedIn, which show a line of content in a Twitter style format. Now I'm able to create these images and then combine those images into a PDF just like this, simply by writing out each of the sentences in a Google Doc and then using this platform called Placid, where I can create these template images and design them in their editor. And then I can use the contents of the Google Doc. I can take each line. I can insert that into the image, can make multiple images, and then I can ultimately combine them together in one PDF that I can post to platforms like LinkedIn. I can also take the individual images and post them to platforms like Instagram, which want them as individual images as well. So to do this, you'll need a Placid account. I'm gonna go over a make.com automation that also helps me build this out. And then you'll also need a Google Doc. So first things first, go ahead and create yourself a Placid.app account and then create a template that looks just like this. I'm trying to mirror a Twitter post. You can make it more realistic. You can add likes and comments down below here. I'm just trying to keep it simple for the example. Everything on this page is static except this text here, which is a dynamic field that will allow us to enter in our own text that we can pull from the Google document. And once you have this template ready and you have a Google document with just a few lines of text in it, you can get started on your make.com automation. This make automation actually has a couple of different functions, but we're going to focus in on this function down here. You don't need to worry too much about this. This is where we just decide what type of action are we going to take. And it's right here where we start the process of creating the Twitter image carousel. So you can see in this first step here, what I'm doing is I'm grabbing the Google doc. So this ID that you see in the URL here is used to pull up this Google Doc with the contents in it. So this automation here pulls up the contents of that Google document so that we can use it in the rest of the process. And then what this section does here is that it iterates over each line. So this is just running in a loop and it's taking each line of the document and repeating the same process over and over. So in this case, it takes the first line and it creates the first image. So it's taking that line and it's inserting it into this template and then creating an image. And then what happens here is that Placid will create an image on the internet that we can download. So we download that. And then so we just loop through that process. We go through each line of the document and we create an image and then we download it. And once we've created all those images and downloaded each one, then we can send all of those images to another service called PDF.co. The service lets you do a number of different things with PDFs, including create them. And in this case, we're going to create them from all the different images. So we're just sending this service an array of images that we've already downloaded. And so it just takes those and creates a PDF for us. And then once you create that PDF, this process is actually done. I do upload it into frame.io so I can have a place to review it. So you can see here in frame.io, I have that PDF loaded up here. So if I needed to provide any feedback to anyone, I could do so. But this part of the automation isn't as important. It's just where am I putting that final PDF? In your situation, you might just want to upload it to Google Drive. But as you can see, it's a very simple process to take that Google Doc and then iterate over it, create an image for each line, and then finally combine it into a PDF and then send it to wherever you want to store that PDF. So for an example, if we came back to this Google Doc here and we put one, two, three, four, five, and then we came over here to test this automation. I just triggered that on my side. So we'll start to see that come through. It grabbed the Google Doc. Now what you can see is creating an image for each of the different lines, and it's also grabbing that file. So this should run five different times because in our document, we have five different lines here. And now we've processed that final image, and now it's creating the PDF, and now it's uploading it into frame. So if I jump back over to frame, we're gonna see that new image loading up here. I'll go ahead and download it. And what you can see here is we have five different slides and each one has the number from the document example that we had just right over here. So you can see creating these documents is a whole lot easier than you might think, and it can save you a ton of time. And then all you have to do is just create all sorts of different templates here in Placid. You might also wanna use a platform like Canva to actually create all the different graphics and just import them here. This is great for setting up your template, but it's not as good as a graphic editor like Canva. So I recommend building out your templates there and then just dragging the different elements you need into their template creator here. So there you go. As always, I hope you found this video valuable. Make sure to drop a comment below if there's another type of automation that you'd like to see me create to help you create more content. Drop a comment below. I'll see you there.